Football pads for pants can be confusing. Almega Sports has you covered with a quick lesson on how to install pant pads. First of all, let's make it a little easier on yourself by turning the pants inside out. Let's start with the knee pads and work our way to the top. This is a knee pad. Notice there is a squared top and a rounded bottom. The square portion of the pad should always aim to the top of the pant and the rounded edge to the bottom. The cup of the pad should follow the contour of the knee. Identify the knee pocket in the pants and simply slide into place. Next we will install the thigh pad. Just as with the knee pads, the pants will have a thigh pocket and the pad will slide into place. Again the cup of the pad will follow the contour of the leg. Next is the hip pads. These will snap into place. The snaps to the hip pads are located on the waistband of the pants. Remember the square portion of the pad aims to the top and the rounded portion to the bottom. This might take a little work to get them to snap into place the first time. Last is the tail pad or spine pad. This will also snap into place on the waistband at the back and center of the waistband. Most pants with built-in snaps will also have a built-in belt so there will be no need to purchase a separate football belt. The last thing to remember is that it is okay to wash your pant pads, but do not put them in the dryer. The pads will break down and will start to disintegrate. Don't forget to check out our blog for more information on football equipment for every season. Almega Sports has you covered.